Yo, good morning guys, Kevin here. Today I'm up on Blackcomb Mountain, riding with my buddy Andreas. Yo, what's up guys? And today we're heading up the glacier chair into an out of bounds area to hopefully do a hike and find some powder. I'm riding a brand new board today. I've got the Jones Storm Wolf out. So really stoked to test out this board and hopefully find some good powder snow. Andreas, man, what do you think we're gonna find up there? Oh man, I hope we find uh, a collection of powder, good, nice, solid groomery turns, and even possibly uh, some trees as we make our way down. Yeah, I think so. And today we've got a mix of sun and clouds, so hopefully we get some good views up there. Let's go find out. Woohoo! Glacier's closed. You want to go up there? Sure. The glacier's closed because of avalanche risk. That was our plan to go over there. But there's another short hike we can do on this side and then maybe go off and find a different powder zone. I'm sure Andreas has something up his sleeve. Somewhere we, we can go. Oh, I've got all kinds of powder zones. All right. So first power lap on the Storm Wolf. This thing looks like an absolute missile. It's got this nice old notched out tail, big wide nose. I think it's gonna be an alpine powder killer. So can't wait to uh, test it out right here. Dude, <laughs> yo, good man. That went for a sale. <laughs> My helmet's all the way down there. <laughs> that first like 100 feet of powder was like a mix of like different layers of like soft stuff, heavy, crispy. How was it feeling for you, Andreas? Yeah, I think I like leaned back, had lots of confidence and like a nice leaned back turn. And then yeah. when I came around for the second part, yeah. I like leaned forward and just took a, a bite into my edge and went flying. Yeah, plus you had all my like spray kind of flying into your face. Yeah, I couldn't see. I was like too close behind you. <laughs> all right, so we've swatted Andreas as a helmet about 200 feet down, a bit more fresh snow, and then maybe off to a different zone. Different zone, different zone. Let's all go to a different zone. <laughs> So guys, my first impressions of the Storm Wolf is that it's a very aggressive snowboard. It's got lots of stability, I think because of the stiffness of it. Also because it's a camber to rocker profile. That camber zone just giving it like tons of stability. On that last pitch, it was a kind of mix of like different textures of snow. So it felt very like unpredictable under your feet, but the, uh, the Storm Wolf definitely just helped me to ride it out we're gonna take it up here to an area called gray zone and this area has got like a bit of a mix of kind of like open alpine areas and also some trees a good place to test it out in a bit of uh all conditions you good andreas yeah sick man <laughs>
quick, bro. Oh yeah, Valentine's Day with Andreas. Valentine's with Andreas. All right, guys, here's some Valentine's Day tips. Tip number one, if your girlfriend says that she doesn't want anything for Valentine's Day, she's testing you. <laughs> she definitely wants to see some effort of some kind, whether it be cooking, a gift, uh, something that you make. Tip two, don't leave Valentine's Day plans till the last minute. Valentine's days are much like powder days. You gotta get up early and get after it and have a plan. And tip three, guys, remember that whoever you spend your Valentine's Day with, remember to treat them with a lot of respect, dignity, and love, because there's only one of that person. So cherish them. Awesome. Tips with Andres. <laughs> <laughs> Andreas, dude, this has been a fun day, man. Yeah, man, looks like there's a few little powdery pillows in here. So today we've been trying to ride some of the more unknown areas of the mountain. It hasn't snowed much recently, but it has been extremely cold. So I think keeping some people away from the mountain. So we've managed to find some good snow and like perfect conditions to be testing out pow boards in. So I didn't want to give you guys a review unless it was in really good conditions. And I think today we managed to find the good snow to do that. So Andreas, what are you thinking? What's, uh, what's the line? Well, Kev, uh, as long as we stay virtuous and true of heart, I think that the spirits will grant us safe passage down this way through these trees. Looks like there's like a fun little like buttery pillow line here in front of us. Uh, so make it a little drop in and should be uh, overall just a good, a good last run of the day. I'm pretty stoked. Sick man, let's do it. Let's do this thing. Guys, so the first day on the Storm Wolf has come to an end. Honestly, I think this is my new favorite tree riding board uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's pretty stiff. So here at Whistler, we have some steep tree sections, some small drops and bumps, and I feel like the stiffness really helps it to be stable and just have your back through some of that, those types of conditions. Um, but what makes it so good in the trees is the, the swallowtail combined with the, the kind of spooned out nose. So those two sections uh, really make this board very like nimble. So compared to something like the Ultramine Expander, which is stiff and awesome at high speeds and big alpine conditions, this one is a bit more suited, I think, for tight trees, getting quick turns, uh, which has been amazing today. This is exactly what I needed, a board that has my back, but that I can also rip like quickly through some tree sections. So it's been amazing. If you guys wanna check this board out, I'll put a link to it in the description. Big thanks to the crew at Jones for sending this guy out to me. And yeah, we'll definitely been, be riding it in some more videos coming soon. Also, check out Andreas's channel. I'll put a link to it in the description too. He's doing a board review, so you have to check that one out down in the, in the description as well. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this board. 
And if you guys have any board requests, let me know in the comments as well. Thanks again for watching guys. Hope you're having fun out there snowboarding. We'll see you in the next one soon.